What's up, guys? MC Stu here, and I uh, just want to bring some news uh, that we got on tonight's 10 Forward stream. Uh, there was a uh, announcement that was made. We've heard some talk about it in the past, but uh, they officially kind of announced it and gave us some info on it. I'm going to go ahead and play the clip, and then uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more in detail here. As far as I'm concerned, you can probably talk about it. Um, I don't see a, a real, it's actually there and running um, if people know about it. So that's fine. Okay, well, it doesn't know about it. I mean, so... it's, 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 it's still like in the not fi final stage because we have plans for making it real, which involves Travis and UI. So for those of you who are what, wondering what, what we're being vague about, um, uh, there is now an official DPS parser within Star Trek Online. Uh, oh. It's another one of those Keith uh, passion projects, you know, woke up one day and said, I want a DPS parser, parser in the game. Uh, so that currently exists and is accessible to players, right? Yes. All right. So there we have it. Um, they have integrated a DPS parser into Star Trek Online. Um now, this is nice, even if you are not someone that's chasing DPS. I know many of us play the game for, you know, just the, the theory crafting, the building, um, those kinds of things. And it's nice to have some sort of software or something that tells you, how's my ship doing, right? And again, even if you're not trying to push big numbers, you're getting the parts that you're after. You can put them on your ship. You can run different scenarios, TFOs, missions, and then pull that data and compare it and see, is this improving my, my build? Is it not improving my build? How is it improving my build? And it's nice to have some of that data. Now, right now it's in the early stages, so this is all just a chat command function. Um, I did run a couple tests on it, and we'll, we'll talk about that here in a minute, and we'll talk about how to activate it. So why don't we start with how to activate it? I'm going to put down in the description um, what you will need uh, to put into chat in order to activate it, and I'll just pop it up on screen here. So let's also fix this, because when they put it into chat, they forgot to put the forward slashes. So the top one is going to activate the, the parsing uh, data. Um, the second one is going to pull all the data when you're done. So I'll, I'll put up uh, some clips here where I ran a ISA and uh, I also parsed it with the software that we normally use, which uh, for myself is STO Combat Meter, so I could compare it after. Um, when I did this, I went into the map, then I put in the, um, the first command, and then I um, waited till the end and put in the second command. I don't know if you can put in the first command and then launch the TFO. Sometimes when you change instances, there's certain things that um, will basically stop it. For instance, if I started doing a demo record right now in our space dock area here, and then I left this, this instance, it would automatically cancel out that demo record. So I'll have to do a little bit more testing on that um, to see, can I just turn this on once I go into game or do I need to activate this every time I want to grab a particular you know piece of combat information. So until we check it and you can try it yourself as well, when you go into the TFO during the prep phase, just go ahead and put the top command in. And then when you're done with the TFO, you can go ahead and put in the bottom command and that will pull the data. I'll put both of these commands down in the description for you guys. Um, so let's just look at the data that it pulls here. Um, so we'll start with the comparisons. Most of these numbers are a little bit lower than what I got from the software that we normally use. There's also a lot less data here, um, but they did say that they're going to be working on a their own UI um, because all the data that STO meter pulls is from the game. So this, this data all exists all the ins and outs with it. If they were to just put it in chat format for everything that, that this pulls here, then um, it would be unreadable. It'd be so much. So I'm assuming they're just giving us some basics. And once they finish a UI, I'm assuming you'll be able to drill down into that in a more manageable way. Um, so let's just start with, um, I can't really highlight anything without losing this other window, but um, let me find myself here. So what it's doing is it's giving us um, our combat stat data and then it's labeling out the first person. I don't know why it puts it in the order it does. Neither do I on, well, on this software, it does it in order from lowest to, to highest DPS. Um, so let's just look at, at mine here. So if we find myself, I am... Okay, so I'm right down here. So you'll see uh, Leroy at MC Stu 2001. So it gives us our total damage that we did, and then it gives us our DPS. So on the 
new integrated stow meter. It has me at 276,000 DPS and some change. And then it gives us some other, you know, details here. So shield damage that we did. Um, some of these um, short terms, I'm not familiar with, with what these are. Um, gives us our um, combat time is what I'm assuming this is. It's 66 seconds. That matches what the STO combat meter has. And then if we go down a little bit farther, it's giving us, you know, how many pets, the damage the pets did. So it's giving us a decent amount of info. It's giving you all the basic stuff that you might need um, to be able to look at. Is this pet doing better or am I doing more shield damage now? So there is a good amount of data here. Um, but they really need to, you know, finish up the UI that they were talking about will make it nice. Because if we compare that over here, so on the STO combat meter, we can drill down into individual players. So if we take a look at uh, player combat analysis, um, we can select myself and it's going to give us each individual weapon, the damage it did, the max one hit, the shield damage, the crit hit. So you can see how if they took all of this and put it into the chat, it would be a nightmare. And that's just the beginning because then we can look at, okay, what did the pets do? Depending on your build, you can have a lot more stuff, especially like your know, science builds or other things. This is just kind of a raw DPS cannon build, so there's not as much, but there's some parses I'll pull where I have just tons of stuff because there's more abilities and you have more pet related things happening um, then you can get into you know your debuffs and all the different kinds of things so there's a ton of data that the game pulls and retains um, and once they have that ui i'm assuming that we'll have a little bit more of a granular ability to you know, or ability to get down more granular into the data that we have um, so what, what i did find though when i went through just kind of on top level dps everybody's dps was a little bit lower um, than what the STO combat meter did. And I know that's true. There's another um, uh, combat meter that's used, and I can't remember what it's called, but it also varies a little bit in the way that it pulls the logs. There's also things that'll happen where if you're far away from maybe one of your teammates, you're not going to pick up all the data that you need for the damage that they're doing it, you know, in order to have that comparison. Generally, I don't really care what everybody else is doing, so it doesn't really matter. But just know that if you are running with a friend, you both are parsing it and you get done and your numbers are all a little bit different. That generally has to do with the distance that you have in the map. So I don't want to go down, you know, the rabbit hole of, you know, the parsers and all those kinds of things. The main thing is that this is now available to you in game. Uh, you can use it right now with those, those chat commands that are down in the description. And I would encourage you if you're someone that's, you know, working on your ship, working on your build, this is really, really helpful for, you know, being able to dial those things in and, and see how you're doing. It is very, you know, high level, uh, what it's giving you, but still, you know, it, it, it's, it's enough to help you kind of dial in what you're doing and, and make your builds better. Um, so I, I think this is great. I wish this was in the game when I first started, I didn't know about, you know, third party parsing or any of that kind of thing. And uh, that would have made life a little bit easier for me. You know, when I was putting stuff together, not knowing a lot, what was going on, I'd put things on my ship and, you know, it, it may work, it may not work it, but it just kind of came down to how I felt about it, you know? And, um, you know, for a lot of us, that might even just be enough. If you like it, great. Who cares, right? If it's doing more, if you're not dying, it's working, you know, as far as you can tell, then who cares? Um, but if you are looking to, you know, increase, you know, the, the efficiency of your ship and the performance of the ship, uh, having this available to you is, uh, is pretty nice. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope that's helpful. I'll, uh, I'll definitely do some updates once they finish the UI and implement that. Uh, but again, the big news of the day is they have implemented a, uh, a way to pull some of this uh, damage, um, you know, parse data for you to be able to view without having to install any third party uh, softwares or anything like that. So uh, let me know down in the description. What do you guys think about this? Is this cool? Is this, uh, are you guys excited? If you're newer to the game, do you think this is going to be helpful for you? Uh, do you just don't care? Uh, there's a lot that just don't care, but you know, and I get that. And again, this isn't something where it's like you have to be a, you know, a DPS, you know, chaser, uh, but we all want our ships to work good. Right. And so this is just a tool that's in there, regardless of what level you like to play on, um, that can help you, you know, make, make your ship work better. Um, so I think this is great addition to the game and, uh, I'm pretty excited to see what they come up with in terms of the UI and what that, uh, what that does for us. Um, I'll dig through this more. This is just kind of my first kind of impression here. I'm just kind of looking through this. I'm seeing, you know, other things that are being listed here, weapons wise, uh, that are tied into this parse information. So I'll have to dig into this and kind of take a look, but this is really nice fit, you know, kind of links and tool tips, different things that are used. If that's kind of implemented into the uh, UI as well, that's going to be really, really cool. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think. Have a good one. Thank you very much for watching till next time.
Hey guys, appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, ring the bell, and sub to the channel for the latest news updates and how-to guides.